Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I do this hand motion, I'm like, sup. Anyways, we uh, just did a playlist video of what to eat on the ketogenic diet. Even if you're not on keto, those items are still healthy and there's a big long playlist. That seemed like a prime opportunity to talk about cutting boards <laughs> and tools that you need in the kitchen. So we're going to be talking about the cutting boards that I use in all of my videos and a quick little review of them. Let's jump to it. If you're new to my channel, my name's Brienne. I do weekly tutorials on healthy foods, either through meals, through movement, or mentality. And I feel like this category is all about meals and mentality. I feel like those have been going together a lot, and we're just gonna get right to it. So, these are the cutting boards that I use, and they have like this little lip. They're quite large, about, I don't know, 12, 18 inches. And I have a green one, and I have a red one, a green one, well, I said that backwards. Man, that changes the color a lot. And these were from a company called Preserve Cutting Board. This all started because I posted a video a very long time ago, my shrimp scampi video, and I had a viewer, I think it was my shrimp scampi video, it might be another one, I'd have to look. Huh. Anyways, I used to use a glass cutting board, so I am really anti-plastic. I don't have any plastics in my life. Uh, in my past, I have lived on the coast and I lived in Hawaii for a few years. I grew up in Southern California and I was very blessed to be in the ocean all the time and I got to see firsthand the damages that plastics did to the ocean. So I know there's a lot of people out there that like get the idea like I'm some crazy tree hugger and it's more about just the things that we live in a in the sphere that we live in on this earth, it is a globe, like a little mini terranium. And what we put out into the world comes back to us. And the damage that we are doing to the earth is making us sick. So in my health and happiness journey, sustainability and environmentally friendly things are a huge part of your personal health. It does affect you. <laughs> so we like to think that it's outside of ourselves. We are still animals that live on this planet and we are affected by its health. So I do everything I can to limit my plastic exposure. Now, the whole illegal straw things, if you know what's going on with that, look, I get it, get rid of the straws, but get rid of the plastic forks and the spoons and the styrofoam and all that other stuff too, and then replace it with something. I worked with kids with autism for years, ABA training and therapy. You need to replace it with something better, like a glass straw, like a stainless steel straw, like something, a bamboo straw. I mean, they're out there, people. Anyways, rant over, back to cutting boards. Glass is damaging to the blades of your cut of the, your knives. Um, so I did not know that I'm still learning. I'm not a professional chef. I did not go to school. In my family, I was known for being able to burn water. Yeah. So now I run a cooking channel. If I can do it, so can you. And I tried to turn this into other projects with like a mosaic and some stuff and the glue didn't stick and it turned into a big problem. So I have this random piece of glass and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it, but I refuse to use plastic also because it has a lot of bacteria that grows in it. When I found out that the glass board, other than being loud and really annoying and sliding all over my tabletop, I was like, you know what, this whole glass thing is just ridiculous. There are no cuts in it, so bacteria can't grow in it, and I liked that. I just don't like the noise. I don't want to damage my knife. I don't like that food slid all over it. I just didn't have a good experience. So they recommended a pro chef. Uh, he was kind enough, the, the subscriber, to let me know what he recommended, and I will provide that in the link below, even though I would, I did not personally want it. Looking at it, I went to my local health store off of Highway 105 in Willis or Montgomery, Texas. I'm not sure what city it is. And they had these preserved cutting boards. Now I kept this little thing. It was a plastic thing wrapped around and it says powered by leftovers. It's made in the US. That's something that's really important to me. I am a patriot and I am proud of this country. I know that this country has its problems but I wouldn't want to be anywhere else in the world, especially as a woman. So um, you, and it's 100% recycled materials. I was really nervous about this, so I bought two. We really don't need two. <laughs> uh, it just suggested having like a green one for your veggies and the red one for your meats. And uh, the Preserve cutting board has 100% um, recycled materials and you can be recycled. It's BPA free and it says, it's got all this stuff. Handy curve for holding and carrying. Uh, this is what it is. Now, I don't know why. what else really there is to say to, about this. It 
does slide around my counter so the little lip that it has I can push against the wall it makes it perfect for my recording my videos as well as it's protective of my knives I've been doing more and more research about tools to make your lives easier for cooking as well as for my own and it does have little divots in it little like cuts or striations I don't, I'm not sure if the camera is gonna be able to pick it up maybe when you cook on it but it does have a circular pattern in the center that's gridded and makes it so that the items don't move around which is actually really handy and I thought really kind of cool of them it's relatively thick it's super easy to pick up and like pour your items into it like from some of my soup videos or from my cheesecake gumbo it's just it's really convenient it's very lightweight and it's really easy to clean it has never stained and I cook some weird stuff y'all so it's never stained it's never had any problems and I have been super impressed with them so I am going to be doing my very first giveaway on my channel um, when I hit 1,000 viewers and the description box below will provide the rules or whatever for giveaway. It's my first time so we're going to see how it goes and I will be giving away one of these cutting boards. So. Thank you so much for being here for this quick review and tool. I hope you enjoyed talking a little bit about sustainability. That's something that is really dear to my heart and matters to me a lot. I was snorkeling in Hawaii and I saw plastic bags on the coral reef. I saw the straws in the turtles' noses. Like I could touch these turtles. And it was just, it was horrifying to me. We shouldn't be, we need to change how we, our mentality and how we think about the world and all the microplastics because microplastic never ever degrades or falls apart. It ends up in the oceans and the ocean covers most of the earth and we're killing a lot of the wildlife there. It's having a huge impact. There are massive amounts of trash and there are fantastic companies out there that are making items like this, which I just think is incredible. Not to mention there's companies that like surfing girls have come up with wetsuit companies and surfboard companies and swimsuits that are made of these of these components. And I just think we have so much vitality and so much brain power and we are part of this incredible movement in the world to be able to utilize our, our skills and our, and our resources and our technology to do something good. And if we have that power, I don't think why we shouldn't use it. You even get cute little cups like this made out of a glass jar that was at one point salsa. I took a drill through the top of the lid, an old straw, and put my mint leaves from my garden in it. And it's super cute. Instead of spending $40 to get a cute little mason jar one just by reusing stuff. I can talk more about this if you're interested, but it was just supposed to be a review of the cutting board because it is a cooking channel. If you really are interested in that, comment below with your going green journey, getting plastic free, zero waste, whatever the trend is. I would love to start to incorporate that into my channel and explore that. I've just been really nervous to be like called the tree hugger and like weird negative things. You guys are the best. Subscribe for my healthy tutorials and videos. As you always know, I am here on a weekly basis. I usually post on Food Fridays, but I've been doing more of it lately. Uh, let me know if you have any other suggestions, if you have any experience with, say, bamboo cutting boards, how those have been treating you. And yeah, that's it. Comment below with your other suggestions for sustainable ones. And if you have any suggestions for knives. I'm looking for some good knives. I really want a good chef's knife. Okay, I'm going to stop rambling. I love you guys all so much. Thank you much for being here. 